All right, I've got the uh, fourth axis mounted. Um, you can see there is some wasted space. The uh, This is as far over that I could get and still put the clamp on. And, you know, the x-axis does go over past where you might be working. So there's a few inches lost there. But... Um, that's what it is. So I've got this main connector that will come off. And this is the encoder line. It's extra long. So if I had to take it off, I could undo this coupler and pop these um, zip ties off. And I can get some slack on the encoder line and get this off of here. For, and that's the way it is for now. Eventually I'll, I will have a connector here that I can disconnect both of those easily so what I've got is oh yeah on the air the air I'm gonna put an elbow on this here instead of this put an elbow out here and then a little nipple another elbow back and then this pointing back this way and then I'll be able to take the airline and tie it with those lines there. And so right now it's just kind of looping up into uh, the top of the box where I've got uh, a lid that I will make a, a connector plug for that. And it's just chained to the roof. Uh, eventually I might put a um, spring up there and a better connection here so that it doesn't uh, rub but something um, to that I can lock in there and you know just take the abrasion out of it um, yeah let me climb up here so we've got the the MPG here and that's got a an actual connector that screws in it's all installed I've got the pendant, that's the pendant line right here. And I've got the um, encoder from from the fourth axis on, on that big line, and I have the big line. I'm thinking about putting the big one through that hole and possibly put the encoder line, like make two holes here and you know in that plug. That way I've pretty much got everything ready to go pretty close. So once I have that, that'll uh, seal up the entry point there. Then, let's get a little bright here. Then this, this area here, so that'll get locked down. And this is that main line. And I'll cinch this up nice and tight and uh, run it through this panel here. Once I get that panel done, then this right now, this has extra line on it and it will, um, it goes into that terminal block there. So once I get all this squared away, which I, I made one a while back, but I must have messed it up because I think I put the fan too high and it, there's a lip up there. And it didn't didn't go through the hole, so I'm gonna probably redo this. And I made slots in the bottom for wires to go through. I'm gonna put holes like the other stuff, so it's a little more of a seal. Because I want to push air. I want to push air through that tunnel onto the computer, or that's the monitor and computer built into one. So it's gonna hit that, and then it will push its way up and around and push the heat out these slots that I cut last year. So anyway, the wires, wiring, that's just like in the, um, in the fourth axis. These are the, the limit switches showing that uh, the brake is on or off. This is the home switch. These are the, uh, the solenoid for some reason i had two 
lines for uh, servo positive and two for negative. So one of them is here, one of them is here. This one is, um, hmm, these two, these are the little white ones. So probably won't even be using these for a while until I figure something out, but they're, re they're, they're ready to go. This is my home switch. It's already wired up. It's just temporary until I get a path. I'm going to move this terminal block, shorten it and move it down. I'm going to make a, a two inch spot and then maybe like an inch for wiring and then another two inch spot. So about five inches from here to there, but this is going to be down here. So it's going to clear this up and this wire right now, which this is coming out of my, out of this line here, these are my servo uh, power from my fourth axis driver. They go down, they go out to the to the servo. So this is positive, negative, and ground. Once I get this moved, I will reroute those to go basically straight across underneath and then down and plug in there. So that's going to be my power line for the servo. That's going to be the rest of the fourth axis. And then these are going to be the regular stuff. But like I said, shortened because there's a whole lot of empty spots. I'll shorten that down as much as possible. Put it down here. My emergency stop is here. This is an old um, capacitor that was on the machine machine's 40 years old so i'll replace this i should have replaced the one in the fourth axis but i didn't anyway so i have to let me back up here a little bit i have to rewire all this obviously and try to do it right but i think it's going to start by cinching this up this top where these wires come in so that when they come out of this one, uh, I can start by routing these properly, nice and tight, and then up through here, and then those will be done. And um, like I said, then I'm, when I move that, then I can run the, like I said, I can run these, and they'll be shortened. Everything will look a lot nicer eventually. Of course, all that, these go over to the VFD and um, uh, carousel for the tool changer. So that's a whole other mess that might even be done last. Uh, fix all this up first, but like I said, I want to get a little bit of spacing. This here was already on the machine. I'll probably pull that off. Um, these, he, this, this one here was already on the machine. I was temporarily using that, but I've got, um, signal wires and power lines in the same trough. So I'm pulling that out. I'm going to turn my breakers around where the power lines come out this side. And when they'll come up and then cross the data lines, they'll cross them perpendicular. So that side will be used for um, signal lines and this side for power. It's because the power has got to come up through from, from down through here, through this. And then it's got to come up to the terminal block. There's some... Um, 120, uh, this is positive 120, negative ground, and this is positive 24, gets, gets that from here. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a jumbled up mess, but I think the first step is in there. Gotta make that plug. But the fourth axis is installed and it runs as is i think even though that that breaker i might go ahead and put that breaker back on for now but while i make i'm probably going to make that plate with this machine i might make it with my uh wood router cnc i don't know but i gotta make that plate put all that together move that start um, tightening things up start labeling then i got to go to my my print and correct everything that's not jiving with the actual machine 
and that's it thanks